Prescott Van Mine the third sommelier again from home. In today's episode, we're reviewing a Scorpion Mezcal. So this is a Mezcal from Oaxaca, Mexico. This is imported and is a beautiful golden ember to it. But of course, what sets it apart is the tiny little scorpion in the bottom of every bottle. We're gonna try to get that little guy out today. This is a very charming bottle. We got the scorpion and the cactus on front here, the agave plant in the desert, a little sombrero on top of the bottle. I know that mezcal is traditionally very smoky, but I have a feeling this one is going to sting a little bit more than normal. <laughs> this is a scorpion joke. You're a little stinger. I'll sting you. So, in case you didn't see it, that's all right. Got scorpions on the glass bottle right around the top here. This is a nice little bottle, and in fact, it has the mezcal a little sticker right there so that you know it's authentic. A little scared of scorpions. <laughs> Chadwick used to love putting them in my sleeping bag on our camping trips with mom. So, triggered a little bit. <laughs> Seeing a scorpion in there. There's something on my back. <laughs> oh, just an itch. Trauma. I mean, when I think of a scorpion, my first impulse is to step on it, not drink it. But these wily mezcal producers in Mexico decided to up the ante when it came to their particular product, and I salute them and their bravery to say nothing of their animal cruelty. So now I guess my episode is becoming one for Fear Factor. Although I guess I don't have to be scared of this little guy trying to crawl into my eyeballs. At least I don't think. It says it's aged in oak for one year. So hopefully it's got a really nice, rich, complex flavor to it. Again, I'm liking the authenticity of the bottle. I think we may have a really nice mezcal in our hands. I mean, the Sobrero yells tourist trap, but the actual scorpion at the bottom of the bottle, well, that screams authentic to me. So let's take a look at this puppy. Mmm, very smoky, very complex, almost what you would say leathery. Has some really nice sweetness kind of undernotes to it. And that agave, mmm, really intense flavors coming out of this. Smells like getting on a bus, traveling past all those tourist destinations and finding authentic Mexico. The beauty of the land, the strength of the people, the bonds that unite them, and the liquor they drink. We don't speak the same language, but they can see it in my eyes. I'm a real caballero. Hmm. Feeling like Rick Steves in Mexico. He's a charming man. You should check him out if you haven't already. The coolest of the cool. And I'm telling you, I'm feeling pretty cool smelling this right now. I feel like I'm bareback on a horse, traveling through the hills of Oaxaca. My shirt unbuttoned, flowing behind me. Hashtag El Pivitres. The farmers see me whizzing past on a stallion, asking, Can I say ese gringo? Soy yo, Pivitres. So, anyways, let's try it out. First, we're gonna get this little guy out. Yeah, that is definitely a tiny little scorpion. Not entirely sure, but it looks like a Century Rhoetus sculpturalis. A variety of scorpions that's very popular and easy to grow. I don't know if this adds any flavor to the bottle, but uh, you know, they put it in there and they have a little gimmick. A little underbelly there. Poor guy. Well, he went out drunk as a skunk. Not a bad way to go. Well, Nice little gimmick that they have going on there. I'm gonna put him back in the bottle, but I'll make a deal with you. If this video gets to a million views, I will get this little guy back out and I'll eat it. That's right, I'll just chew it up and swallow. A scorpion. Chew it up and swallow it for views. I need him. Heading into that Christmas season. Well, let's go ahead and see if it opens up a little bit more in the glass. Something almost spicy about it in the glass. Obviously, it has a pretty high alcohol content, so having the vapors come off the glass gives it a kind of a spicy note and really enriches all that smokiness and leatheriness. All right, let's give it a taste. Mm. Ooh. Very smoky. Like I've sucked on a campfire, which Chadwick also dared me to do. Cold campfire logs the next morning. It's like they liquefied a campfire and bottled it. 
pretty pleasant actually, pretty sweet on the palate. That agave obviously is coming in there and making a really nice rich drink. I mean, it has that very traditional smokiness. Can't get away from that. Let's give it another taste. Woo. Well, very strong flavor. Transports me right to some nice barren desert hills. Purple sunset, making the rocks around me all glow before the darkness envelops me. I'm getting hints of scorpion soul in here. You know, now that I think about it, this little buddy and I, we aren't so different. Bottom of the barrel, drowning in alcohol, waiting for someone to come fish us out, parade us around. I feel you, buddy. I feel you. You know, I'll be honest. I'm trying to learn a second language, but I don't want to just speak Spanish. I want to speak Spanish perfectly. But that Duolingo bird scares the shit out of me. But I'm undeterred. I will be learning. Maybe not this year, maybe not next year, but soon and for the rest of my life. I will habla espanol perfectamente. I want to venture deep into Mexico, having conversations left and right by my own land make my own mezcal. I know I have a standing obligation to make a hard seltzer should a certain video get to 1 million views, but I would rather be making this authentically in Mexico. And if I happen to have scorpions on my farm, I would not put them in the mezcal. Wouldn't eat them or kill them. I just let them be my little ranch buddies, so long as they stayed out of my sleeping bag. Take that Chadwick, turning my trauma into triumph. Hashtag trauma into triumph. Speaking of carcasses, my stress level and my dad has been so much better now that Dean's gone. My condolences to his family. Anyway, boy, this mezcal, it's really nice. I would pair this with the best street tacos in Mexico, with homemade tortillas, of course, with Fear Factor contestants, the ones who lost, and with tequila with the little worm in them. Maybe get the worm and the scorpion out, they could be little buddies, or they could fight to the death. My money's on the scorpion. Not very fair fight. The worm has no appendages. It's one long appendage, actually. So my rating of zero to 100, I'm actually giving this a 79. This is a really nice drink. It's authentic mezcal, and I know that's quite trendy right now. If you guys have a favorite mezcal, just leave it in the comments and I'll try to check it out. All right, little buddy, let's go. You wanna go watch Frozen again?